So this is my official Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant prediction video. Look, I'm recording this video in the beginning of October, so I don't know if this fight is going to take place at the November 6th date or not. But whatever time it does take place at, this is my prediction for it. First of all, I got to talk about the elephant in the room. I got to talk about the cut that Caleb Plant suffered in the press conference in late September. Just five or six weeks before the fight. Will that cut play a significant factor in the fight? I believe so. I believe you can't get a cut like that. Now, I've been cut before. I've cut guys before. Anyone that's boxed for a certain length of time is probably going to suffer a cut to some level. Some are severe. Some are not severe. Thank God I did not suffer any severe cuts. But a cut, if you let's say you suffer this cut, automatically that tissue will be softened up. Like, like it's easier to cut that place from now on. So let's look about each guy's advantage and disadvantage. We all can agree that Canelo Alvarez is the power and speed advantage. I I don't think anyone in the world can doubt what I'm saying right now. Canelo Alvarez is the stronger, quicker, and more powerful guy. Not quick with his feet. Not the quicker guy with feet. But most definitely has the, the faster hands. I don't think uh, anyone's going to try to make an argument over here. Uh, he has a very strong body. He has that Mike Tyson type body. Wide neck. Like he's, he's a very, very, you know, no homo, but he's a very thick guy. Uh, he's a strong guy. Uh, you know, he's Kenel Alvarez. I don't need to go into too much detail on this. We all know who he is. We all know what he provides. So I'm looking at what the box rec is saying. I don't know if this is true. I've heard people say Canelo is 5'7 or 5'6. God knows the truth about Canelo Alvarez. His list is at 5'9 with a 70 and a half inch reach. Caleb Plant is 6'1 with a 74 inch reach. Canelo Alvarez is 31 years old. Caleb Plant or Caleb Plant, whichever you guys want to call him. Is uh six for one I mean twenty nine years old. Sorry about that, lapse in my brain. Caleb Plant holds a record of twenty one victories, no losses, twelve knockouts. Canelo Alvarez heads on paper or officially fifty six wins, one loss, two draws with thirty eight knockouts. But uh, if I were the one that was judging his fights, he'd have a lot more than one loss. Uh, he lost, in my opinion, early in his career to Miguel Vasquez. I thought he lost to Austin Trout. I thought he lost to Urias Landy Lara. I thought he lost both times to Golovkin. And yeah, I, I've seen him lose a lot of times. So I think he has five or six losses on, on his resume. But nevertheless, he's been fighting tough competition for throughout his entire career. But a more accurate... Uh, record for him is 54 and 5 or 53 and 6. That's a more accurate record for him. Nevertheless, Caleb Plant. Uh, I mean, Kendall Alvarez, his best wins at Super Middleweight would have to be uh, Callum Smith. I would say. Hmm, I would say. Caleb Plant's best victory at. He's only fought a super middleweight, but I would say his best victory is Jose Yuza Kategi. I would say that's his best victory. So I already spoke about the quote unquote elephant in the room. Uh, what's his name? The, the cut. The cut that Caleb Plant suffered. I think that will play a big factor. But well, let's say this cut hasn't happened. Let me tell you guys how I envision the fight happening. Most of you, especially my subscribers, would have seen my video I made for Kalo, the Kale Plant game plan, what he should do. But I'm just going to be realistic and tell you how this fight is most likely going to play out. Kale Plant's going to move with for the first two or three rounds. Canelo would just be gauging the distance, letting it adjust to the body there, a right hand to the solo practice there, left hook to the 
uh, liver area there. You know, I'm doing breaking down cow plant inch by inch. Uh, he's going to get close to around 4, 5, and 6, and probably stop the guy around 7, 8, and 9. Wouldn't be shocked if you won a decision, but I got to let Canelo know one thing. You're fighting on the PBC card. Caleb Plant is not underestimating you. Caleb Plant has seen what works and does work against you. Caleb Plant is not Billy Joe Sanders. Caleb Plant has no interest in retiring in his next fight. I don't see Caleb Plant retiring, even if he did lose an emphatic fashion against Canelo. I just don't see it. This isn't Billy Joe Sanders all over again. So, and if it's anywhere competitive, let's say Caleb wins four or five rounds. I think he will get the decision on a PBC card. And I said the same thing about the Callum Smith fight. If it's a close fight, they will give it. They will give it to, well, what's his face, Callum Smith. Because there's something that Canelo is taken lightly. That he no longer has Oscar De La Hoya on his side. He doesn't have that guy that can, that can pull in favors with the judges. And in this case, he has no one, not even an Eddie Hearn, to pull in favors. Let's go look. I thought Kendall, most people thought that he won every round against Callum Smith. Let's look at the scorecards. One judge had it 117, 111. So one judge had it 9 rounds to 3, Callum Smith. When people could argue that Callum Smith is not in the round. Let's say people could argue that Callum Smith won 4 rounds. That guy that had a 9 rounds to 3 would probably have it 7 to 5. For Callum Smith, with the other two judges having it 7 5 4, Canelo Alvarez. So, Canelo Alvarez cannot go in there with a mindset that, oh, I can beat you 6 6 with a knockdown or 7 5. No, you gotta win at least nine rounds, at least eight rounds. If you win eight, you gotta get a, you gotta have a knockdown. If you win nine, you're, you're good. But you, you gotta have big moments in the fight to expect on a PBC card to win the decision. Because he only said a one-fight deal with the PBC. PBC really would want a superstar. Especially especially since Floyd Mayweather retired. Errol Smith Jr. I don't think he, he's going to make a comeback. Gervonta Davis is not selling what he, he's, people thought he would sell. So the PBC really want a superstar. And Deontay Wilder, I, I'm making this video before the Wilder Fury 3 fight. Wilder could be retired, for all I know. So, the PBC really need a superstar. And Caleb Plant, even if he win, if he aches out a decision against Canelo Alvarez, he will be a superstar in the world of boxing. A white American fighter goes in there and beats Canelo Alvarez. He will be a superstar. You best believe me on that one. So, I, I think Canelo Alvarez has the tools to stop Caleb Plant. I think Canelo Alvarez will stop Caleb Plant if I had to bet on it. And I would do that if I was Canelo. I want to take my chances on the PBC card. And I think Canelo understands this ever since he left uh, Golden Boy. I know he's not been fighting the, the greatest fighters in the world. Callum Smith on four weeks notice. And after Callum Smith, there was a blueprint set on how to beat him. And when John Ryder did it. John Ryder... Fights a lot similar to Canelo Alvarez. And he beat Callum Smith, in my opinion, just as wide as Canelo Alvarez. I only gave Callum Smith two rounds in that fight. I gave Callum Smith two or three rounds against Canelo. So, I thought they both performed equally as good. John Ryder and uh, Canelo Alvarez against Callum Smith. And that's when Canelo Alvarez picked up the fight. So, in my eyes, still to this day, I believe John Ryder is the lineal super middleweight champion. I think he's the man at boxing. As crazy as that sounds, that's what I think. So, uh, and then he fought Evan Yildirim. Mandatory opponent, but we saw Chris Eubank Jr. do him in better than what Canelo did. Then he fought Billy Joe Sanders, who quit. Even though I had Billy Joe Sanders up 5 rounds to 3, everyone's like, oh, you're crazy, bro. I have him 5 rounds up to 3. I had a 5 to 3. I thought Canelo won rounds 2, 4, and 8. That's it. And uh, I have the same exact scorecard as Chris Mannix. So I don't think I'm in the minority with this one. I think a lot of people agree with me. So, but he, he's, he hasn't been fighting with top cream. I think Caleb Plant is going to be the, his hardest fight. Yeah, super middleweight. Because before these three guys, 
He did have a fight against Rocky Fielding. He did have a fight against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Those guys are not top fighters. Caleb Plant is not a top, top fighter, but he's a good fighter. And he has heart. And he has motivation. And he has a beautiful wife that he wants to, him and her to live a nice life. So I'm pretty sure he's motivated to beat Canelo Alvarez. And we all know if he beats Canelo Alvarez, he's going to be a superstar. But one piece of advice, I know Caleb Plant ain't listening. But if you are, bro, one piece of advice. If you want to beat Canelo Alvarez, channel in the same thing that Usyk channeled in. You move and jab right, but you got to go in there and have your moments. Take the fight from Canelo. As we all saw, these superstars, they're not unbeatable. Before June 1, 2019, no one would have believed Joshua was beatable. Before February 22, 2020, no one believed Deontay Wilder is beatable. You got to make Canelo Alvarez look beatable. You got to go in there and punish Canelo Alvarez. You're a bigger guy. You're the taller guy. Taller reach. You got a quick left hook. You got to get in there and get out. Quick and land punishing shots on Canelo Alvarez. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Does anyone give Cal Plant a shot? I give him a shot, but I, I'm still picking Canelo. I'm like, don't. I, I might be cheering for Cal Plant, but I'm picking Canelo to win this fight. Does anyone think Cal Plant will win this fight? And to the Canelo fans, what round do you think Canelo will beat Cal Plant? If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the channel. As a Dick Boxing out.